Hi everyone, today I want to show you how to install Arch Linux onto an ARM based device such as this BeagleBone Black. For this you're gonna need your device, a microSD card adapter and a microSD card. Important thing to notice is that microSD cards should have a high enough capacity to hold an operating system, in our case Arch Linux, and all the software and files you plan to use on your device. So the first step to do is insert the card into a micro SD card adapter and to insert this into our card reader. Okay, so we've inserted the SD card into our card reader. Next we want to format the card before we copy the bootloader and the file system onto the designated partitions. So first thing you're gonna do is open up your terminal and use the command lsblk which stands for list block devices to find out the name of our SD card block device. So here I see MMC blk0 in my case that's for multimedia card block device 0. So now that I have the device name I can use the fdisk command to partition my card. So use it with sudo fdisk devices and the appropriate device name in your case it might be different first I'm going to use command P to list all the partitions on the card currently there is uh, one partition which is FAT32 file system so I don't want it I want to get rid of all the existing partitions I do that with command O and if I list all partitions again with P, I'll see that there are no existing partitions anymore. So next thing I want, want to do is create a new partition, which will be used for the bootloader. So I type command N for new, P for primary partition, and one for first. Just enter to use the default value, so select the first available sector and plus 64M for 64 megabytes in size. So we've made a really small uh, partition for our bootloader, we don't need more. Next we need to specify the file system. So we do that with command T and the hex code E for FAT16. If you're interested in other file systems, use L to list all the possible file system. So here we see that E is stands for FAT16. So we use E. And the last thing to do for this partition is set the bootable flag. We do that with command A and specify in the first partition. Next we want to make uh, another partition for our file system. We do that again with command new, P for primary, Default second, we, you can also hit enter. Uh, first sector again, use the default. And here we hit enter, the default value, which will take up all the remaining space on the SD card. The last thing to do is command W to write everything that we did. If, we, if you made a mistake, there is no problem, just type command Q and all the changes won't be written onto your card. Okay, now if we do the list block devices command, we see that our memory card is now divided into two partitions, one with 64 megabytes and the other with the rest of the memory. Now we make the file systems. So use make file system vfat for fat and dash f16 and specify the exact partition where you want it. In my case, it is memory card block device 0, partition 1. Permission denied for this, we're gonna need a sudo and do the same for the second partition only that in this case we're gonna make ext for 
file system and don't make mistake with the device name because this time you want to second partition okay this lasted a bit longer so the next thing to do is to download the bootloader and the file system and to extract them onto the appropriate partitions now I'm going to make a directory where I'm going to download the bootloader and the root file system so I'm going to call it beagle tem enter the directory now download the bootloader with the vget command you can get the download link from the video description or from the Arch Linux ARM home site. It's downloaded. Now I make another directory where I'm going to mount the first partition of RSD card. So sudo mount first partition and our directory. So next thing we are gonna extract we don't need sudo for that extract our bootloader to our mounted partition you can ignore these errors because basically it's saying that you cannot copy the file permissions on onto the fat 16 system because it does not support it and we don't need it so it's not a problem next we unmount the boot partition because we don't need it anymore and download the root file system again get the link from the video description or from the Arch Linux ARM homepage this will last a little longer okay so it's finishing up with the download next we are going to make a directory where we are going to mount the second partition from the SD card I'm going to name it root, then we mount the second partition of our SD card to the directory and then extract the downloaded root file system onto mounted partition. This might also take a while. Okay, so now it's finished. It needed about 30 seconds. And the last thing we unmount the root partition, which is the second partition of the, uh, of the SD card, because we don't need it anymore. Okay, I don't know why, but the unmounting of the root partition of the SD card takes a really long time on my computer. It, it was almost a minute, I think. Okay, so now we are finished with the flashing of the SD card. We can put it back into the BeagleBone Black and boot it up. Take your micro SD card from the card reader and put it back into your BeagleBone Black. After inserting the micro SD card, I insert the Ethernet cable and then by holding the boot button I will insert the power cable don't release the boot button yet now that the BeagleBone is connected to our local network I will use this neat little command to find out the IP address of the BeagleBone Black of course I will include the command in the video description okay so I know that my computer has the address of 13 so I can check that out again here for, word, for wireless network I see my address so this is me this is the router and this must be the BeagleBone Black so now I SSH with the root account onto the BeagleBone address. 
So as we are connecting the first time, we are asked if we ex accept the fingerprint key. Yes. And now you need to type the root password of the default root account onto the Arch Linux, which is root. And now we're in. Now you're logged into your BeagleBone Black and you can do whatever you want. See that you're connected from your computer with which user, etc. That's it.